Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you a simple way to import that studio character to Blender. I have seen a few YouTube video tutorials out there demonstrating different ways to import that studio character to Blender, but I'm not totally satisfied with the results. Therefore, I'm creating my own video tutorial and I want to share it with you and see what you think of it. First, you need to add plugin for importing Daz character to Blender. You do this by going to the website with the link I provided. The website is called Diffeomorphic. It has Daz Importer version 1.2 and 1.3. I'm going to use Daz Importer version 1.2. You can follow instruction on how to download zip file to your local drive. Once the zip file is downloaded, then open Blender, and then go to File, User Preferences, click Add-ons, then come down to the bottom of the window, Install Add-on from File. You can see that I have to download a zip file. And then click Install Add-on from File. Now you can see the import export DAS .duf and .dsf format. Enable that. And click Save User Settings. I have DAS Studio 4.10 Pro opened with Genesis 3 Mail downloaded in the scene. I also created a local folder called Genesis 3 Mail. This folder will contain both DAS Studio.duf file and exported Collada.dae file. Now go to File. and save as scene and select folder Genesis 3 mail and type in the file name Eddie. And now go to file, export and select collada.dae and enter file name Eddie. Make sure that the file name is exactly the same on both the studio.duf file and exported collada.dae file. Now collada export options window appears. Click accept. Now go to Blender and set to Cycles Render. It's important that you do this first before importing file. And then go to File, User Preferences, Select Add-ons, and in the search window, type Dynamic Sky. Enable Dynamic Sky. And then save User Settings. Now go to Tools tab and scroll down to Dynamic Sky and click Create. And go to World Icon and select Dynamic One and click Preview. Now you could see the sky with clouds. Now go to File, Import and select DAS Native .duf.dsf file. Change the scale to 0 0.01. Under mesh fitting, select DAE file. Go to the file location. And select edit.duf.
Now the character is in the viewport. Type 0 to set to camera view and type N and enable lock camera to view and adjust your character to fit the, the uh, camera. Now if you click rendered in the preview, it'll take a few seconds. You could see how simple it is to import Dash character to Blender. If you want a higher resolution, you could click camera and then render yeah that may take a few seconds there are some other ways of importing DAS character to Blender including using the JSON file but in order for you to use JSON file in addition to adding DAS imported to Blender add-on, you also need to set up import basic data tab to DAS Studio. There's, no, there's more work, which is unnecessary because the results are the same. There you go. So please provide comments and thank you for watching.